Not every kid wants to be in the gym every day. Not every kid expresses themselves well verbally. You know, and it's all about the relationship we have with kids and getting to know them. And sometimes we get to know kids through the art. The art that they do, the fine art that they do, the music that they do, the lyrics of their songs that they write. The Britannia Clubhouse was very active and loud and a lot of kids and a lot of room and a lot of fun. And um, I, you know, I got this idea that, you know, the kids would bring their instruments after school and, and part of homework group they'd be playing. And when it came time to uh, submit our program ideas for the next year, having a music room, a place where kids could go in and maybe not necessarily distract some of the kids who are doing their homework, um, was something that I came up with and I was fortunate enough to have instruments when I was growing up so it was something I thought was really important to these kids and I was seeing that there was sort of a market for it. The kids really wanted it so it was something I was really pushing for. One of our staff, Amanda, she kind of helped made it come through and kind of like run it and she helped me and other kids with the piano and taught us how to play guitar and like all these instruments so one day Tim, our senior staff worker, was like we might have a recording studio so We needed to make a pretty solid statement to the, to the youth that, that we're investing in them. That recording studio is a solid message that they're important and it's significant and we're investing in creative arts. I helped them source a lot of equipment. We got them set up when we kind of evaluated what they would need to um, so the kids could record themselves from a few different musical styles, bands, as well as doing things like rap and karaoke and things like that. And if hearing the one he just did... I came to the Boys and Girls Club because I heard about a recording studio and I wanted to do something with my voice. When I heard there was going to be a recording studio, I was, I was happy. I was like, the Boys and Girls Club's really moving up. It was awesome. I was shocked that we would have a recording studio and I was excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the nice thing nowadays is that a lot of recording happens um, on computer-based systems. So the good thing for Boys and Girls Club is they're running um, a software system called Pro Tools, which is um, used in pretty much every big studio everywhere on probably 90% of the recordings being made that you're hearing on the radio. So the nice thing is that you're learning something that's um, kind of easily translatable at many different levels. Time while being young, I don't know what better way. Take my word and listen close. A B G C and I think of folk. I think you know what I'm talking about. Live your life, have some fun. Come over here, friends, enjoy, we have fun. Hey, hold up. Uh I didn't think the verse was that long. I didn't finish writing for that long. Some kids may not be great at music, but they love to play it and they love to be around it. And it allows them to grow and express themselves, allows them to be creative and confident. And if music's not gonna be part of their everyday life, it still can be very instrumental in allowing them to grow and become a well-rounded person. And if the music room is not gonna produce the next superstar, it's going to allow kids to have confidence to become superstars in whatever avenue of life they choose. It's so important that we're investing in our young people in, in these communities. And we have to use every tool in our toolbox. And one huge tool that we're finding works is that creative arts component. You know, so it's the gym, it's the pool, it's the leadership, it's the homework clubs, it's the education piece. But the creative arts piece is a huge effective tool. And the more we can invest in that, the more we're able to reach out to kids. Day. It's not far.